Ryan Fran Mahita. I'm here with Rafael Dos Anjos. He's got a fight coming up against Mark Bocek at UFC 154. We're here at the Samurai MMA Pro Show. Do you remember the times when you were fighting in smaller shows like this? Yeah, I remember. And for for because today the main event gonna be a guy that I fought before, like six years ago, Thiago Mino. We fought before. Is he any good? Yeah, 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 he's good. So what do you think it is about you that's gotten you to the UFC where he hasn't quite made it there yet? Yeah, uh, I, I've been, uh, like, I've been, been training a lot for, for, for my next fight. And I just coming to what my, my manager had, so I, he invited me to come here today to what And great fights, nice, nice show. So while you're here in L.A., do you, you're part of the Black House team then, yes? Yeah, I trained there too at uh, Cavalry Chapel and Kings MMA also. Well, I know Hoffa's not here tonight. His boy Corey Kelly just fought and lost to a split decision. But what is it about the Black House team that makes you guys so special? Because it's such an excellent team. You know, we did a nice interview with Glover Teixeira a few weeks ago. And you guys all seem to have a really great bond. Yeah, they have a great team there. We, we always we got some new guys to training. And we got a strong team, and so many guys with a lot of experience. And man, I love that trend. That is very good for me. So, what do you think about Mark Bocek? What kind of fighter do you think he is, and what skills do you think have that you have that that you know will make you victorious? Yeah, he he always looked for the ground game. I'm BJJ black belt. And I'm not I'm not worried about this, but I've been working a lot of my wrestling and my 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 stand up skills, my Muay Thai, my box skills. And I think he's gonna try put me down to, to work his his game on top, his work on top of me. But I'm waiting for all situations. I've been training so hard and I'm waiting for this fight. How do you feel about the Njokuani fight and your performance in that? Yeah, well, against him, I work a lot of my wrestling too because he's like he's tall. He got a good Muay Thai, good takedown defense. But but I but I, I did my my good. I did a good job. I put him down many times and controlled all the fight. And how are you feeling these days about the division and just basically where it's going and 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 the guys at the top and who you know where you feel like you fit in with them. Yeah, I I been work so hard. I wanna I wanna my focus is the belt. I know it's it's not so it's not so close, but I'm on the way. I'm I now I move here. I I live here now. I got a good training here, and I'm on I'm on the right way now. And I think I I, I have a good chance. Is there a big difference in in living here in the states full time and just coming sometimes to train? Yeah, it's a big difference now. I live here, I can train every day, like hard, I can improve a lot of my wrestling, and I think that's very good for my game. Are you working with Babalu on your wrestling? Yeah, well, we just worked today. Today I had a good training with the heavy guys, with Babalu, Satoshi Ishii, Pedro Pano also, and it was good for me. Did you see Ishii and Here Comes the Boom? Yeah, he's... I didn't. I didn't. I didn't watch the, the movie yet, but I for sure I, I will watch this weekend. Very nice. Very nice. Well, best of luck to you at 154, and thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Oi, galera. Eu sou o Rafael dos Anjos. Vocês estão assistindo a MMA Hit. Valeu.